everyone and welcome back to while you were cleaning today I have a Dollar Tree haul and shop with me video to share with you there are some exciting new items in the store so I'm gonna show you here everything that I purchased and then I'm going to share with you a shop with me portion at the end of this video you can see everything that I didn't necessarily need to buy but it may be something that you are interested in. So I hope that you enjoy today's video. If you do, please hit that like button, please comment and please subscribe, and we'll go ahead and get started. To start off, I'm going to quickly show you some items that I purchased for a special project. I'm going to be making a craft kit for my daughter for her birthday. So I showed you in my Ikea shop with me video, I purchased this divided container, and then I have some items that I got from Dollar Tree that I'm going to use to fill this so that it's a nice little craft kit for her to do all of her little projects. First, I picked up these little foam beads. These are multicolored ones. They did have them in other colors as well. I believe these are often used when you make your own slime, so I didn't necessarily get them for that. But if your kids are really into making slime, they have these at the Dollar Tree right now in many different colors. Next, I picked up one of these 100 packs of craft sticks in the multicolors, and then I also got these little storage containers. These come in a six pack. These are gonna be really helpful for her to organize any small items that she has in her craft container. I also got this little package of deco tape. It's kind of like washi tape. It has seven different rolls, and they're just in different colors and patterns, as you can see there. I know that the Dollar Tree ones aren't really recommended by people who use washi tape a lot, so, but for my daughter's crafting, I thought these would be perfect. And I also picked up these little gems. They are kind of a holographic print. Let me make sure it's focusing on them. They're all the same shape, they're all round, and I thought that these would be something that could go in those little clear containers. Five different colors, 260 pieces. And there you can see them up close. It also comes with this string, but I don't think the string is very long. It doesn't really look very long, but it would be nice for making a small bracelet and necklace. And then I think that Dollar Tree does sell some stretchy string as well. And they do have a ton of bead options right now if your kids are into making anything with beads. And then I also got this three count set of Baker's Twine. It comes with a pink, green, and purple. And these are a pretty long length and they are great for little crafts and then they also have them in other colors as well. I also picked up this small pink stapler. It does come with the stapler and then a small package of staples and then I got this thing of glitter which I don't know if I'm regretting getting this or not. We'll see how well she does with it the first time that she uses it but this is in a five pack and then I think you can see there it has a couple different shades of pink colors and then it looks like a couple different shades of a gold and then a silver color there in the middle. And then the last item for her craft kit, I picked up this 300 count set of stickers. As you can see here, they are a bunch of like fashion type stickers. There's some lipsticks and little shoes and things. And if she likes to draw people, I thought that it would be fun to add these little embellishments onto her drawings. So I just thought this would be something that she would enjoy. I wasn't planning on sharing that finished craft kit here on my YouTube channel, but if that is something that you are interested in seeing, I will share some pictures and possibly a short video over on my Instagram page, so you can find the link to my Instagram down in the description box of this video. I found several new pairs of socks at Dollar Tree, so I wanted to share the ones with you that I purchased, and then I filmed a ton of socks, and those will be in the shop with me portion, but I picked up these for my son. They have little robots on them. I think you can see that, maybe, yeah. So they have little robots and then there's a kind of more solid blue and yellow pair and then there's this pair with little gears on it and I just thought that these were really cute and then it's nice value that they come in a three pack as well and then for my daughter, I picked up these ones. They have little rainbows and then there's a solid blue and then there is this kind of rainbow striped one. I also picked up this towel somewhat recently at Dollar Tree. It has a cactus on it, and then here at the top it says, can't touch this. These little glass containers are also a new item at Dollar Tree. 
I would probably use these just setting as decor by themselves, or you could also put a tea light inside of them. So I got this one. It's kind of an aqua blue color with this honeycomb design. And then I got this white one that has a little bit of a basket weave. And then they had several other designs and colors, and I'll share those with you in a little bit. They have some nice just greenery type floral at Dollar Tree right now. So I picked up a couple of these ferns and I'm excited to use these in my decor. I also picked up this blue colored pot at Dollar Tree. This is plastic. I wanted a new pot for my new plant from Ikea. And they have a ton of new decor signs at Dollar Tree. So first off, I'll show you the ones that I got that are in frames. So I picked up this one, it says welcome, and it has the kind of faux wood background with the floral. And I actually like this white frame that it came in. This one's a little bit longer. They had some that, you know, sat like this as well, and then some square ones and smaller rectangles. So there are a bunch of options. I think these little signs may have been around for a little bit of time already, but this one says magical and then it has this glittery unicorn on it and then the rainbow and I just thought it was really cute and so I wanted to get it for my daughter. And then I also picked up this one with the watering can and greenery and it says at the bottom it says life is beautiful. I'm not as huge of a fan of this frame, it just kind of it's trying to look too much like a faux metal, so I probably will spray paint this frame a different color. And now I'll share with you the other decor signs that I got. I got this one. It's another one that has kind of a faux wood background. And then it says, family together is my favorite place to be. And you can see this is like one of the canvas signs. And then I also picked up this one. It also has a fake wood background and then it has succulents all over it so there you can see it up close. I plan on redoing my bathroom into like a cactus succulent type theme and so I was excited to find this little print and I'm hoping I can find another one or two more that are a little bit different in the print. And then lastly, I picked up this one. It says choose happy and it has kind of this gold foil on the words. And this one, I think it's just a little bit smaller than what my other kind of canvas prints are. They had a few that were a little bit smaller, usually if they had kind of the gold foil on them. So that is my last sign. And there are a ton of other options in the store. So make sure you go check them out. And that is everything that I purchased to share with you in this haul portion of the video. If you stick around for the shop with me portion, you will see all of the other new signs that they have. They also have a bunch of other socks that I videoed and some spring makeup items and also a ton of new Bolero items. There's even shampoo now and different new scents. So make sure that you stay and look at those that I videoed in the store as well.
to ask another question again today at the end of this haul and shop with me video for Dollar Tree. And today's question is, I would like to know what your decor style is. Maybe you already know what kind of items that you lean towards when it comes to decorating your own home. If you don't know, I will leave the link to a quiz in the description box of this video and you can go and take that quiz and see if it tells you a little bit more about what your decor style is. So please let me know in the comments what you find out as far as what your decor style is. I will leave my answer in the comments as well and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.